Native Coin is creating a cryptocurrency that will be used in tribal businesses, casinos, and online gaming platforms. And with me to explain more about what Native Coin is doing and an update is the president of the company, Randy Williams. So Randy, great to see you again. Well, Jane, thank you for having us. Yes, look forward to an update here. So I guess um, a quick, um, just kind of tell us quickly what Native Coin is doing and give me a little bit of your bio. Well, uh, I, I'm I'm the president of Native Coin. I'm Clinkett and, and Oto. I'm a product of the boarding school. Um, my parents both went to uh, Haskell boarding school, so it's uh, you know the interesting aspect of, of the history of, of Native people who, who a lot of them went to the boarding schools. Um, so and 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 that's sort of my background. Um, I I'm the president of the of Native Coin right now, and and we're moving forward with with the coin. So we're real excited about that, and and real happy to to be on your show. So thank you very much. Well, now the last time we talked, there were some things in the works. So and that was a few months ago. So can you give me any update about the progress you made or where you are with some of your projects? Well, we listed um, and, and we're on exchanges now. Uh, that's that's real exciting. Um, you can go to our website, uh, nativecoin.com, and, and look for the exchanges that we're on. Um, we also have talked to several tribes, um, and that's real exciting because we've talked to tribes about putting in the uh, ATM kiosk uh, on their on their reservation and, and in their casinos as well. So those are those are kind of the exciting things that Native Coin is doing. You know, we, we just had a meeting the other day and, and we were talking about the NFTs, right? And, and how that will impact the Native community and, and how we can support the Native community with that. Um, that's that's a strong, strong. Uh, that's really point. interesting. What, what kind of things, how do you think that might be able to be applied? Well, you know, native artisans, of course, are localized, right? Mm -hmm. And and so if, if we can create an opportunity, a world's market for them, I mean, that just expands their 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 buying base just tremendously. I mean, it's just it's just so exciting for that to happen. But but not only that, you know, we we look at it as an opportunity to create um, opportunities for the language to be preserved because we can preserve their language, we can preserve their their cult, their history, um, their spoken history. Um, we can preserve their art. Um, we can preserve a lot of things that that tribes may have a difficult time keeping um, in today's fast society. Uh, and and we will all, it'll always be there for them. And so those are the things that we look to do. I mean, we're just not just here to develop the coin, make money. You know, we actually want to give back to the communities that 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 we're going to serve, so to speak. And and uh, you know, the native community certainly is that community in which we want to support. Yeah, that, that NFT could be a really interesting application for you. So let's we'll do an update on that later in the year once things get on. And you've also got speaking of giving back, you've got a new foundation, right? So what's that about? Well, that that's just about you know we we look at at uh, at um, what we can do for the communities, right? And some tribes do what very well with their casinos, um, and 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 they have the opportunity to provide very good support for their tribal members. Other tribes don't have. Uh, casinos, you know, and, and I would just, I'm in Alaska, so I'll just take a, a minute to talk about that. You know, there are over 200 tribes up here that don't have casinos. There, there are no casinos uh, in the state except for one on one reservation because tribes in Alaska don't have reservations. So the, they don't have the opportunity to create that kind of income that, that reservation tribes do. Um, other tribes down, down South in the lower 48, they have, they don't have casinos as well. And so we created a foundation that will have the opportunity to support those tribes economically, where uh, if, if a tribal member says, you know, I would like to start a business, we want to support that. If a tribal member wants to go to college, we want to support that. Those are the things that we're looking at supporting for tribes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of tribes that have medical clinics on them now. And, and so, you know, we would like to support a scholarship for doctors and nurses. 
you know, because they're, they're so often you go to these clinics and they're not tribal members. They're, they're non-tribal members because uh, the medical industry is not necessarily one that tribes have, have gone into very, very much. And so uh, we hope to create an opportunity for them to come back to their reservations as doctors, as nurses. Um, but that, it was not just limited to that. Of course, the scholarship would be available to other people uh, for other things. Um, you know, there's the tribal members certainly have have uh, have the need for a lot of a uh, lot of expertise. And we hope to help to create that with their people. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned Native Coin was listed now. So where can people follow the coin's progress? Well, I would, I would suggest that they go to nativecoin.com and, and, and look at the exchanges we're on and then just follow them on, on those exchanges. Um, you know, there's there's other exchanges that we're working to uh, to be placed with right now. And so, you know, that's that that's where they can go and, and find out more about Native Coin and and the exchanges and follow us on 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 those exchanges. Yeah. Now, I mean, people think, uh, you know, especially with all the kind of shiny casinos and businesses um, that are going on in the Native American community, there's a lot of wealth there. But what's the case? What's the, what's the economic truth? Well, the economic truth is there is uh, in the larger casinos, in the larger communities, uh, you know, like I'm I'm in uh, uh, a Seattle area, too. And, you know, you've got the Muckleshoot Casino and the Puyallup Casino and, and uh, the Tulalip Casinos, which are the three, the Nisnohomish, which are the four big casinos. And then after that, you've got areas where there are limited population bases. And, of course, they don't receive the same kind of income that that those large casinos receive um and and that's that's across the united states i mean you can go to uh, lakota country or or uh, you know up in, in north and south dakota and and they don't have an opportunity to create large casinos because there's no real big population basis for them to draw from and so they don't have an opportunity to create the same kind of income that the, the large casinos uh, uh you know, have. And so that's where we want to step in and see where, where we can provide some support for those kind of tribes that don't have the same economic opportunities as large. I mean, it's a wealth gap. Let's face it, right? It's, it's everybody talks about a wealth gap. Well, there certainly is in tribes even, right? The big tribes are, very, are doing very well with their casinos and that's good. That's a good, that's a good business for them. And and some tribes that have casinos and, and it's moderate and then other tribes that don't, there's, they're based on a, on a, uh, uh, and a grant-based economy where they get money from the government and that's basically how they survive. You know, it creates employment for their people and and some opportunities for services, but, you know, that's it. Yeah, no, that sounds like a very interesting conference. So well, yeah. thank you, Randy, for joining. I look forward to updates as the year goes on now with the listing and the NFT uh, possibility as well. It should be a, an exciting year for you. Yeah, it should be real exciting. And, and we're always happy to, to talk to you and, and, and have the opportunity to speak to you because, uh, you know, you offer so much to the, the cryptocurrency world. And, and, and uh, you know, we, we thank you for that. Yeah, well, thank you. And good to